meeting is being recorded. Guys, uh, today you will be able to understand how to keep the event parameter one and parameter two in the CC list. So we all know, right? We all know, right, guys? How to keep the event param one and param two in the recipient list? So we will go to the notification and we will select the event param one contains recipient and event param two contains recipient, which will actually keep the which will actually keep the event param one and param two in the uh, two list. So here. In our case, what is our requirement is we are actually keeping even param one and param two in the CC list, guys, not in the recipient list. So for that, what exactly we are doing is so first we will actually understand the requirement. So every time when you change the assign to person, every time when you change the assign to person, this caller should be this caller should be notified in the recipient list. So this caller should be in the recipient list. And and there are two email addresses. The, those are actually Navin and Banu. Those email addresses should be always in the CC list. Okay. Every time when you change the assign to person, this caller should be in the recipient list. And there are two email addresses. Those addresses should be in the CC list. Guys. So what exactly I am doing is whenever I am changing this assign to, I am actually sending an email notification. So how exactly I am sending the email notification is that I'm actually firing an event from the business tool. So every time when you change the assign to, so a business tool will be triggered. So that is actually condition I have actually kept as after update assigned to changes. So here in this business room, I am actually firing an event. Okay. So using GS dot event queue, I'm actually firing an event. So here guys, this is the event name that I have actually provided here. This is the object name. This is param1. This is actually param2. So these two things I am actually keeping in the CC list guys. These two things I'm actually keeping in the CC list. So for that what I'm exactly doing is so I'm actually firing this event. Once this event is fired, this notification will be triggered. Okay, this notification will be triggered. See here I have actually we selected event fired and uh, the event name is actually this one same thing you are able to see here okay so you guys can ask me so where do you create this event so this event is created in the event registry which is this one okay so i have actually fired the event from the business tool this email notification is actually triggered okay so in the who will receive you can see caller this caller will be in the recipient list okay so now now, as for our requirement, this param1 and param2, right? This param1 and param2 should be in the CC list. For that, what exactly I had done is I had actually created an email script, which is actually this one. Keep Navin Banu in CC. So here, what I have done is I have actually got the parameter using event dot param1, and whatever I have got, I have I am actually storing in the p1. So event dot param2, whatever I'm actually getting, I'm actually storing in the P2. Okay. So guys, to keep the users in CC list, we will use email dot add address function. Inside that, we'll have to pass three parameters. One is CC and here either email address or sysid of the user. So here I'm actually passing the email address and here the username you have actually provided here. So the same way, even param2 also email dot add address cc p2 so param2 and banu name i have actually provided here so this will actually keep the param1 and param2 in the cc list guys okay so i have actually created email script right this email script i have actually called in the notification so here if you guys can see i have actually called that email script so mail underscore script colon keep navin banu in cc okay so guys, now what I will do is I will actually try to change the assign to person to someone else. I'm changing it to Abraham Lincoln guys. I'm just saving this one. So once I uh, change this assign to person, right? Immediately this business rule will be triggered. Once this business rule is triggered, this event will be fired. Once this event is fired, this notification will be triggered. Once this notification is triggered, this email script will be run and uh, using this email script right the, the the event param one 
the event param one event param two will be in two list using this email script guys okay so we will practically take a look at guys so we have just changed the assign to person now we will see whether the event is fired or not so how do we check whether the event is fired or not using event log so in the event log you guys can see so just now so just now when event is fired see here the param one navin is there the param two bono is there so event is fired so which is working fine now we will check whether the email is triggered so whether the email is triggered or not we will actually check in the emails under system logs so if you go to the emails so we will see see just now a email is triggered see navin is actually in cc list and bano is in cc list see here in the copied list in the recipient list the caller is added here so the notification is actually fired the bano and navin those are like param1 and param2 are in cc list so we are able to achieve it achieve, achieve it using email scripts guys in the email script we have actually accessed param1 using event.param1 we have accessed param2 using event.param2 and we we are able to add them in the cc list using email dot add address cc and the p1 email address in navin and and uh, email dot add address cc p2 and uh, the username that you have actually provided here and which will actually keep the users in cc list so that is how i have actually kept param1 and param2 in the cc list guys hope you are able to understand if you like our videos and please do subscribe our channel for uh, uh, further uh, updates guys